that's real good. In previous tutorials, we spoke about how to do subclips from source footage, but there are times when we would like to make a subclip from a sequence, or in other words, take a section of a sequence and have that appear in a bin as its own separate clip. Technically, this is called creating a subsequence. So when we create a subclip from a source clip, it's called a subclip. When it's from a sequence, it's called a subsequence. Whether it's from the source or the sequence, the method is very similar. We start by, first of all, marking an in and out around the section. I want to create a subsequence for, so I'm going to mark an in and an out around that section. The next step is to ensure that the correct tracks are active for the tracks that I want to be part of the subsequence. Then I'm simply going to come up here to the upper right hand corner of the record monitor and we can see there's the create subsequence icon right here and just pressing with the mouse and dragging that icon to any bin, we'll notice that the subsequence now appears uh, in that bin. If we take a look at the icon for that subsequence, we can see that it, it is actually a sequence that gets created. So if I were now to double click on that sequence, we can see that it replaces the current sequence with my new subsequence that I just created. If that's not what I want, let me just load up my previous sequence here. If I would rather use my new subclip as a source element, then what I would need to do is instead of double clicking on the subsequence, I'm going to simply click on the icon and drag and drop it to the source monitor. This will load it into the source monitor and give me access to that material that I've just sort of pulled out of my sequence so that I can use it in any sequence or even in any other project. So just to recap, to make a subclip from a sequence, which technically is called a subsequence, we first need to mark it in the start of our subsequence, mark an out, select the tracks that you would like to be part of your subclip, subsequence, and come up to the create subsequence icon in the upper right hand corner, press and drag that to any open bin. If we'd like to see that section in the source monitor, we can simply just drag and drop it right into the source monitor as opposed to double clicking, which will load that uh, subsequence into the timeline. So that's how we make subsequences or subclips from a timeline in Avid. This is Janet. Thanks for listening.